Well, only 10th grade students went to the C.R. Walker Secondary School this morning to begin their first day of high school. When they arrived on the Blue Hill Road and Market Street campus, they were greeted by the nation's leader, who gave them some sound words of advice. The new 10th grade class at the C.R. Walker Secondary School were excited to start the new school year at a new school. But what made the students even more enthusiastic on their first day was a visit by the Prime Minister. The students lined the campus platform as the Prime Minister addressed the short assembly. They listened attentively as he reminisced on his days at C.R. Walker, which was known then as Western Junior and Senior Schools. When I attended, many of these trees were still here. But you must remember that we held classes outside in the yard under the tree. And the young ladies sat in chairs. The blackboard at that time, we used tripod. And the young men like myself would always heed to the women who sat in chairs. And we would accumulate the stones and boulders, whatever we could find in the yard. And that's what we sat on. But the conditions were a lot worse than you have today. And I had to walk from the grove to the school every morning. And it was joy. It was an enjoying walk because we always walk as a group. The Prime Minister then spoke to many of the students individually, learning about their academic goals, something that was very much appreciated by Principal T. Nicola McKay. This is a new grade level that came in this morning. It is our feeder school, H.O. Nash, so the 10th graders, they're coming in for the first time. And so they were very privileged this morning to have the Prime Minister come and address them and speak with some of them. The teachers were excited as well. Prime Minister Minnis and the Member of Parliament for Bain and Grantstown, Travis Robinson, who just graduated from C.R. Walker two years ago, rendered these words of advice to the students. Always put success before you. You will encounter obstacles, but always think positively. But I want them to stay the course, work hard, and, and, and truly give it their best because at the end of the day, um, their future, their success is ultimately dependent on them. And they know that they have an MP in myself who will be there with them every step of the way.